you can't be dating broke women that get mad because you won't blow money. Like it's probably it could be one of these hood rats. Who knows what this person is, man? Just some gold digging female that's butt hurt because men like me are speaking the truth. Hey, what's up, everybody? In this video, I want to talk to y'all about why you shouldn't stress out about trying to please everybody. You know, it's a lot of men out here, a lot of people out here that goes to work and then they stress out because of the stuff that bothers them at work and they bring that same crap home. You don't want to be that type of individual. But the reason I bring up, you know, you can't please everybody is because somebody decided to leave a comment on my video about avoiding these two type of women in 2024. You know, I'm assuming it had to trigger them for them to leave this long paragraph. Y'all know how it'd be when you basically get into an argument with your girlfriend and everything and then she leave like this extra long paragraph about why you're such a mess up or why she's going to leave you. This female, I'm assuming it's a female or a weak man left this extra long comment because this video touched them and it resonated with their soul. So, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and read this comment to y'all. You know, you know, some people just want their moment of fame. The video was avoid these two type of women in 2024 if you want to be happy. This woman or this very simple soft guy said this. It said, go watch Robert Greene's cheap men and what that means for a man and a potential woman. First, cheapness and the frugality gives off a vibe like a woman is not worth a BS plate of $50 food. Don't judge people by what they do. No one that offers you coffee or ice cream means you any kind of providing. Penny pension on a first date says I'm cheap and broke. Nah, actually it doesn't. It means you want to get to see the person for who they truly are. Like any man out here that's trying to blow money on a first date to prove that he could leave with his pockets is a weak man. Like no man should be trying to use his money in order to win a woman over. It's a lot of guys out here that would spend like 100, 200, 300,000 on a first date and they be thinking, oh yeah, maybe after I've done this, I should feel obligated to get some butt. And when men think like that, that's stupid thinking. That's foolish thinking. Any man thinking you could pay for some cheeks like that, you might as well go ahead and get it for $40 somewhere else. But at the same time, that's not the way it works. Spending all this money doesn't guarantee happiness. And that's what some folks don't understand. Like this person left this long comment because they are more than likely a gold digger. They trying to defend this entire thing, talking about, yeah, these women that sitting there have these extra high standards when they look like mediocre women, you know, not even halfway decent, you know, they should get this type of entitlement. No, you don't get this type of entitlement. You are the internet's fool. That's what this, these type of women are right here because the whole thing about them went viral because they decided that they was better than the rest of the population out here. No, nah, any man out here spending hundreds of dollars on a woman he don't know and just to get rejected and then he begs her to go on a second date is a dummy. So let's continue the comment. The girl say, or the nice guy said, whoever it is, they said, Manipulating men into thinking they need to shortchange a woman because you can't get a girl in your bracket is chaotic. What, girl? Man, look at me. I, I ain't have no problem with no woman. Me, I'm selective. I could choose what type of woman I want to be with. This person right here, I don't know what they even look like. Me, I, I got photos all on the internet. I, I'm a nice looking dude by genetics, so I got nothing to lose. But, you know, crybabies will say whatever they want because men like me, you know, engineers and doctors and people that date people like me wouldn't date people like them. You can't be dating broke women that get mad because you won't blow money. Like, it's probably, it could be one of these hood rats. Who knows what this person is, man? Just some gold digging female that's butt hurt because men like me are speaking the truth. So, let me continue on. When the girl say, or the nice guy says, I hope your video flops and men ignore you. Unfortunately, that's not the case because obviously my audience and what I'm doing is resonating with the truth and this works with men and women. So I don't sit there and pander to men or women. So this person also said this. They said the one woman at the Cheesecake Factory doesn't speak for all women. Neither do I say all women fall in any category. Anytime somebody says that everybody does this or always this more than likely that's the wrong answer so for this person to say that this doesn't speak for all women i agree with that that's the only thing i can say i agree with from this person's comment they also say this that's not even an example a nice date can be tops 100 dollars if you ain't got 100 dollars to take a woman out for a date and two drinks then don't date what if hypothetically i don't drink 
And the thing is, I don't drink. So why do I have to take you out in the evening to get you some food like a fool? Like, I don't have to sit there and take you out on a long, drawn out date that may or may not work. I couldn't do it. You know, nowadays, I'd rather go get some coffee. I'd rather go for a walk in the park. If you are a genuine woman, and you're not trying to use me. This should not be a problem. But you got women out here with these high standards. Like, nah, -uh, you ain't even worth it. You not. I don't know who you are. So why would I want to spend that money? But this person leaving this comment, they getting butt hurt because you don't want to sit there and spend money on women that you don't even know it and it might not lead to nothing. She also said, or he or whatever, shim, whatever it is, they said, women don't owe you, you know, the P word. And if you're the one soliciting a woman, that makes it even more insane. And like I said, anybody that actually watch my videos know I tell men all the time, women don't owe a man nothing. So any man out here thinking that a man has to get something at the end of the date, that's a fool. Like, no, you don't want to sit there thinking a woman is going to give you nothing. Like, no, if it's not a genuine connection, then it is what it is. Just leave it, leave it be and let it go. She also said this, uh, you sound like a sexual predator. In exchange for food, let me fill you up. That's why you're single and girls curve you and you're on a date now. Me, look, I could talk to girls in public. Women approach me in public. Women approach me at work. Women approach me all the time. So I am very selective. I have choices out here. But, you know, the person hired behind this camera, they probably butt ugly or, like I said, internet troll for a reason. So let this person, you know, marinate in the darkness. So not only did they leave that long ass comment, they also left a second comment because they got so triggered that they had to go watch another video. They said, no, 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 this man can't. Ain't no way in the world this man is giving out advice and everything. So the next video this person decided to watch because I'm so handsome, you know, all these, the features and good looking this. They decided to watch the video called Why High Value Men Ignore Women. Six reasons. That's another video I have made. If y'all ain't seen it, go ahead and check it out. She said this, you are not high value if you complain about women declining your walks, ice cream dates, and coffee dates, lol, laughing emoji, just say that you want a boyfriend, baby, and no, most women, if they like you, typically they go along with just about anything, it could be a date to the moon if you can get there, if they like you, they're gonna go ahead and submit and do it regardless, but a woman that doesn't see you as a, you know, on a high pedestal, what they would do is make you jump through extra hoops. So any woman that's not trying to go on a regular date and just trying to get me to spend hundreds of dollars like a fool, I wouldn't even take them out on a date. I haven't been on plenty of dates on dating apps. I don't been on plenty of dates right to my damn bedroom. And I don't been on plenty of dates in other places. But, you know, we got butthurt people out, out here that would say negative things because things aren't going their way in life, you know? But, hey, it is what it is for some folks. So if anybody want to be featured in a video leave a comment just like this person did like i said before leave a like comment or subscribe this your boy code labs and i'm out